in Revelation chapter 20, during the final judgment, it is believed that Jesus Christ is not going to be the judge because his name is not uh, shown during the final judgment. Uh, specifically verses 11 through 15, which we'll read right now. But I want to bring clarity uh, to those who are confused and even some who believe that there are two thrones where God sits on one throne and Jesus Christ sits on another. I want to dispel that notion right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at verse 11, Revelation chapter 20. And I saw a great white throne, and him, singular, that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, notice that, the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, very quickly, we'll take a look. We'll hone in on a few areas in these scriptures. And I saw a great white throne, and him, singular, sat on it. So we see that one being is on the throne, whose face, that's the upper portion of the body, the, the most highest portion of the body, towards the head, that's the face, that's literally the face, whose face the earth and heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were what? Judged. So judgment is here. The great judgment day is here. And even the dead are going to be judged. Now let's take a look at another scripture. The book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 31. Because he, let's go back one verse, get a little bit more context. Acts chapter 17, verse 30. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. So at the times of this ignorance, God winked at because he, God, hath appointed a day in the which he, God, will judge the world in righteousness by, notice that two little word there, two letter word, and we, we discussed that one, those of you who uh, seen the teaching and listened to the teaching, uh, concerning Hebrews chapter 1, we spoke about by whom and of whom. Of whom are all things, that's the Father, God, and by whom, that's the Son, Jesus Christ. So we see this once again in this scripture. He will judge, or God will judge the world in righteousness, by whom, or by that man, and when it says by whom, we understand that to mean because of, or based upon, or through, by that man whom he hath ordained. And we also spoke of that uh, during our teaching of Hebrews chapter 1, that God ordained the Son. He appointed the Son. He obtained uh, the uh, inheritance. He hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, in that he hath raised him from the dead. Acts chapter 10, verse 42. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained, there we see it again, of God to be the judge of quick 
and dead. Living and dead. That's what quick means. Living and dead. And if you remember what I pointed out to you in Revelation chapter 20, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. And they were judged, every man according to their works. So the scripture that says that Jesus Christ is the judge of the quick and the dead is being fulfilled in Revelation chapter 20. Although we don't see the name Jesus Christ here in these verses, in terms of the name Jesus Christ, we do see that the dead, small and great, are standing before God. The books are going to be opened and they're going to be judged. And all judgment has been committed unto the Son, John chapter 5 says. And God ordained Jesus Christ to be the judge of the quick and the dead. So when they're standing before God, and they're standing before the one who sits upon the throne, whose face the earth and the heaven flees from, this judge, the one they stand before, the one who's been ordained, is Jesus Christ, is God manifest in the flesh, is the one in whom the fullness of the Godhead dwells, is the expressed image of God, is the radiance, the glory, the brightness, of God. And in closing, notice in Revelation chapter 5, verse 11, And I beheld and heard a voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive, notice that, to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing worthy is a lamb that was slain to receive he obtained he inherited he was appointed by god to be the judge of the living and the dead. Praise the Lord. Until next time, go in peace in Jesus' name. Amen.